Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Courtney and today we're going to be discussing the rule of 72, which is one of the most powerful rules in all of personal finance. This rule dictates how often your investments will double in value, which is pretty critical to seeing how your wealth will accumulate over time. Luca Pacioli wrote about the math behind this in 1494, well before New York City existed, let alone the New York Stock Exchange. Einstein himself even built upon this, calling compound interest the eighth wonder of the world and saying that there is no power in the universe greater than compound interest. So it's safe to say that this principle is well-tested, well-established and verified and it's a pretty great way of seeing when your investments will double. To figure this out, all we need is this basic formula. Basically, if you take the number 72 and divide it by the rate of return you're expecting, the output is an estimate of how many years it will take for that initial investment to double in value. Let's walk through a really fast example to prove this, and then let's dive into why this is such an important principle for young investors. So let's say you're expecting an annual return rate of 5%. 72 divided by 5 is 14 point four which means that it would take 14.4 years for your initial investment to double in value. This chart here shows you some common values, including the 12% figure, which represents the historical returns of the US stock market. So why is this important for younger investors? Well, for young investors, time is on your side. So you have way more time for your investments to continually double. A 25 year old that invests $2,000 every year with a modest 6% return rate can expect that number to grow into $330,000 by the time they are 65. If you started doing that whenever you're 45, you wouldn't even reach $78,000. That's less than a quarter of what you would have reached if you started investing earlier. So every penny that you can invest while you're young has that much more time to compound and grow. It also shatters the belief that you need to take riskier investments when you're young, since consistent stable growth really starts adding up when compounding starts taking place. For this reason, I like investing in index funds and ETFs, that have low expense ratios and historical consistent growth over time. And that's all I have for you today. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave those in the comments section below. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.